my mother was born in New Zealand, so was, which was quite a long time ago, and my, my mother's grandparents uh, immigrated to New Zealand a long time ago, I think in the 50s, so um, yeah, have a good heritage with um, Samoan, being a Samoan and um, also living in New Zealand. And also Charlie, yourself? Yeah, I'm kind of like the same, uh, I'm kind of the same too. My mum and dad were both born in Samoa and then they ended up uh, coming to New Zealand. And uh, yeah, it's been a good upbringing. So. so how many generations now are in New Zealand? I think for me it's um, three generations. OK, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah. Yep. And same with you, Charlie? Um, Similar? Yeah, sometimes the same, yeah. So do you ever go back to the islands and, and give back to what you've been taught over in New Zealand? Yes, my last trip was... Um, well, it was early last year. I needed to make another trip back home, but um, it was good to get over and catch up with the family. And um, it was, had an amazing time being able to take my kids there and um, show them where their granddad uh, grew up and um, the streets he walked and the places where he used to go as a kid. It was pretty special. Kevin, who was one of your heroes growing up? I used to look up to a man, Michael Jones. Uh, oh, yeah. He was a loose forward, uh, played for the All Blacks, a real legend. Um, a real humble man off the field and on the field is just dynamite, so uh, someone I used to look up to and, and still do because he's, uh, he's still a great man. And Charlie, yourself, do you have an idol still, being a young pup in the team now? <laughs> oh, oh, obviously when I was growing up it was probably John Alamu and the, you know, all the cousins wanted to be like John Alamu and <laughs> so you could bump off the most people in the backyard. And you all know that he's Tongan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we all like, brothers all together. Uh, yeah, uh, we are brothers and sisters. I have to admit, from my family, um, my grandma is half Samoan, so not too many people know that. Oh, so, but we don't really claim that, so we just stick to the Tongan side. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the transition from when you first started to where the Super 15 is now. Tell me what's changed. Um, I think probably uh, the speed and the physicality has gone up uh, quite a bit. I think the, the skills always uh, been the same throughout the years, you know, um, probably with the... Um, difference of a few back flicks and stuff, but uh, I think just the um, size of the player coming through and um, the speed has just gone through the roof. It's, I think it's a t total dip, kettle of fish from when, when I first started, so quite different actually. I've only been like, playing for a little while, but yeah, probably just seen, you know, seen a lot more bigger followers coming through the game and like, you know, staying in the team, whereas before I was probably one of the only ones. And uh, yeah, there's a big, big focus on being explosive, having that power to play the game, so. Kevin, how important is religion to you? I think for a lot of it, it's, it's a big part of our lives. You know, um, it's um, like one of those, it's probably the pillar of uh, our, our culture, our family growing up, you know, so um, still, my dad still gives me this, the same advice that he's been giving me since I was a, since I was a kid running out on the field. Is that he always says to me, you know, make sure you do your prayer before you go out and um, make sure you, you ask the Lord to protect you uh, when you go into the field. And, I think a lot, of, a lot of the other guys as well have the same um, beliefs as well, and which is pretty good. We get to get a chance to get together and, and share with that as well. Oh, I'm just yeah, just a normal Christian. Uh, I just go to a church. Uh, it's called Life Life Church, and it's yeah, that's just the um, church that I go to. Yeah, and I'm uh, I'm a Catholic, yep. and uh, I think we've got quite a few different denominations of Christians, but. Uh, I think we're very lucky in that we'll be able to keep that part of our, um, our culture alive in this sort of environment because uh, it is quite different to uh, what everyone else grows up in. So to be able to keep it alive in, in a professional sport and in this sort of environment is pretty special for us. So what kind of advice would you give a Polynesian player coming through to aspire to where you are now? I think uh, probably the longer that I've been in professional sports, I think one of the things I really pick up upon is um, being able to have a real good uh, work ethic. You know, I think it's something that um, with a lot of Islanders, like we're, a lot of them are blessed with really good talent and you know, if we're able to uh, couple that with some really good work ethic, being able to uh, train really hard and um, sometimes it means staying a little bit longer at training and really um, defining those skills that we, that we do really well, I think it'll just um, bring out even better um, sports uh, men and women uh, from the from the islands, because I think we're nat naturally blessed with great talent, um, and when we can couple that with some really good work ethic, I think we just make amazing sports uh, people. A lot of PI boys and ladies, girls, 
uh, you know, they're just based of a lot of talent, but it's just whether they have that, can go that extra step and just have that work ethic to back it up. So. Thanks, guys, for taking out your time and um, speaking to Pacific Sport 360. And if you want to shout out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my grandma at uh, Nalahi for Lefanga. So I just want to say hi and hope you're doing well. And just to all my family in Lutuanu and um, all the lawyers out there, just want to send out all, all my love and uh, hope you're watching tonight. Yeah.